You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, cosmetic affordable dentures. Uh, it's a big topic. Lots of people, according to my first guest, are wearing dentures that they don't like. They don't smile. Uh, they, they, don't, they even avoid social situations because of their denture. He's here to end all that. With us, we have Dr. Deloach. Dr. Deloach, welcome to the program. Nice to meet you, Randy, thank you. Now, before we get into today's topic, for people that don't know your practice, because mm -hmm. you do a lot of things there, I guess, mm -hmm. you have this concept of kind of handling everything under one roof. So who's the typical patient, and what are the different services that you offer? Well, I don't know that we really have a typical patient, Randy. We've been, uh, I've been in practice 30 years. We've uh, seen just about everybody. We're on some third generation patients now. Uh, we do all types of dentistry. We do uh, cosmetic dentistry. I know that's a big buzzword. Cosmetic dentistry includes the nice white fillings you hear about. We do the, the veneers, the porcelain crowns, all those great things. We do have that concept you mentioned of a kind of a one-stop shop. We've found our patients love that, the ability to come to one office and get all the work done under one roof. What uh, about root canals? You do those? We do a lot of root canals. Uh, root canals... Uh, they seem painful. Well, you know, it's amazing. You don't ever hear this in the same sense. Root canals are basically painless now with due oh, to technology right? and uh, the type of technology that exists. If guys stay up on top of that, it's a, it's actually a painless procedure. And uh, we do all of our own surgery. We do wisdom teeth. Uh, we do a lot of uh, sedation dentistry. We know a lot of people come in with fear and anxiety for all procedures. So sedation, they get yes. a pill and just they're relaxed. Literally, they kind of snooze and sleep through most of the procedures without a much of a recollection or memory of what we do. So, Because people don't like going to the dentist, right? I mean, did you ever hear that? Like every day? Yeah, like every no day. no offense? Yeah. What do uh, they say? I don't like to go to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we hear that all the time. And it's not just uh, out of fear. A lot of them just don't want to hear the noise or the smell. It brings back memories yeah. to them. So we do a lot of sedation, do a lot of surgery, wisdom teeth. And we do a lot of dental implants. We have a lot of patients come in with uh, dentures that don't fit. You know, they cause sores in their mouth. They're uh, loose fitting. They can't chew the foods they want. They don't smile the way they should smile. And so we can actually put implants in and you can snap the dentures in so that they're uh, able to talk and chew with confidence. We actually can uh, fix uh, zirconia or beautiful porcelain bridges to those now, as well. you know, we invite you on the program because we know you knew, you do more than just cosmetic dentures, but mm -hmm. we want to talk about it today because not everybody can afford some of the other options, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but are there a lot of denture wares where you are? There's a lot of denture wares. I think the latest numbers I've seen around the country are any, we're north of 40 to 50 million people in the U.S. have dentures. Wow. In Utah, we're very big into our sports, and so I guess to give you a a uh, visual example, uh, the BYU football stadium holds about 65,000 people. The University of Utah football stadium holds about 50,000. And the Utah Jazz, who we love, hold about 20, 25,000. So we could, just with the people in the state of Utah, we could fill all three of those stadiums a couple of times with the people that have dentures uh, just in our state. Okay, moving on to today's topic, uh, cosmetic dentures. Now, I know you do more than that in your office, yeah. but we've talked on the phone, and I'm paraphrasing you slightly, but you said that the dentures today are so much better than they were just five or 10 years ago. Tell me about that. Uh, they're so much better, and this, this gets me excited. I love okay. the cosmetic dentures because of the results we see with the patients. Uh, like most things, technology has uh, made things a lot more consistent and a lot more uh, predictable, and the results we get are fantastic. So these new dentures you like? I love them. Is that I right? Love them. You I, really do love them? I, I love them because of the, the results I see in the patient's smiles when we're done. And these people that I've worked with for years that now will smile. And uh, to me, the smile is kind of the gateway to the soul. All right. And you can't fake that smile. It's now, just... you're, you're a dentist. So it does not surprise me to hear that the smile to you is probably one of the most important things. Yeah. How important is it, in your opinion? Well, not being a dentist, you look at every study that's ever been done on on. Uh, first impressions, or what we think of people, it's all based, the smile has become, if not the most important, the one or two. Okay. Every study that I've seen from Men's Health, Cosmopolitan, Forbes, the signs of success, the things that impress people the most, the smile is always at the top. Now, what I've observed as a dentist over the 30 years I've done this, is nothing short of phenomenal. I've sat in the chair and watched these people uh, shed tears, and it's changed nice. their life. I mean, to see the smile, and 
I still get goosebumps thinking of the first time that they get to take a look at that mirror or if they've got their spouse or their daughter with them. Uh, I actually watch them first as we look. As they're looking, I'm watching the, the person they brought. And you can't describe the smiles that you see. And in Utah, where I practiced for 30 years, it's amazing to me. I, I would venture to say over 90% of the people don't like their dentures. They don't like their smile. They don't like the way they fit. They don't like the way that makes them look. They don't like the way their face looks. And so these are things that we can help people. They don't it. smile? I mean, can you spot, like, a, like when you're out, you're a dentist, obviously. Yeah. You say they're ashamed of their teeth. I mean, could you tell? Absolutely. And not only can I tell, I mean, I'm, I'm a dentist, but I think you can tell. You've probably seen people that don't smile or they cover their mouth when they smile or something about the smile doesn't look natural. And uh, those are things that we can change, but most people don't even know that exists. So. And you believe it, re I mean, it really changes your appearance? I know it does. I mean, I see it every day. And uh, you just, uh, with this technology we have and with the results I've seen, as we've worked with these people, the, the tears that they've shed, it's, it's unbelievable. Right? Yeah. As we talked about, I think one of the most important uh, things in a first impression is a smile and a sign of success. And like it or not, people are judged that way. We've all done it. We see people, we see a smile that maybe is not up to par, and, and uh, we, make, make, we make assumptions. Uh, this is a great case that okay, I brought with me. Okay, let's take a look. Me. This is a great case that I brought with me of a, a gentleman that came in. And as you look at uh, this gentleman, he presented with... Uh, I guess the best way to say is a low self-esteem uh, and was really considered, really wanted to deal with just getting the function. He wasn't even worried about aesthetics. And I think he just wanted to eat. He, he wanted to eat, but I think you agree with me, good or bad, there are some assumptions we make looking at that first picture of him. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Probably a lot of them aren't positive. And uh, so as we were able to work through and visit with him and kind of get a feel for what was important to him, uh, he didn't come out and say it because guys aren't that way, but he made some comments that led me to believe that he's kind of ashamed of his smile and, and uh, wasn't proud of it and wanted to do something about it. Now, this looks real. Tell me about the design. Well, we work with the patient uh, and, and make the design based on facial features, what they want. And uh, this is where the 30 years experience comes in and the passion we have for this. I, I think a good uh, analogy here is to think about this as, as a job interview. If you're employing or interviewing somebody like this, as you look at these pictures, I mean, this first picture is someone that probably doesn't uh, smile a lot and is yeah. someone that we would make judgments right or wrong. We talked about being the, the yeah, smile being yeah. the most important thing. Uh, we'd make a, a judgment there that he's not smiling, that he's probably not that smart. You can see the smile and the what, difference. What do they say? I mean, when they're holding the mirror for the first time, what do they normally do? Are they surprised a little bit that they can look this good? I think the initial response, and I've seen this over and over and over, uh, is disbelief because they truly thought they would never smile like this again and I think it's a resetting of their psyche to say wow I can look like this again I can't wow, tell me about that resetting of the psyche what do you mean yeah. well I think a lot of people just assume that there's no options for them and I think they think that a denture is supposed to fit bad a denture is supposed to not not look good it's supposed to uh, affect their face and make them look older and it's not true and that's that's where I get passionate is because I've sat there and seen this over and over and over and to see the change in the people, and it literally is that moment that I look for, uh, is the change in psyche where they literally look and say, it's back, I can smile, <laughs> it, it feels good, and that's, that's what I want, so. That's good, so when you say people hold on to dentures too long, what do you mean? Well, I think typically people get dentures, the old dentures, uh, they really don't understand what's available to them, they don't know what their options are, and so they'll, they'll think, I've gotta have this denture for 10 or 15 years, uh, because that, they don't go to the dentist anymore if no, you're wearing false teeth. No, and, and so they literally fall out of the system, so we don't see them. They don't realize that technology and the things we can do for them are changing every six months. And so if they haven't been in the office in five years, ten years, decades, they have no idea. And so a lot of times they just don't know what we can do for them. And I know the prices, by the way. Uh, you know, I asked you, and these, you know, prices on dentures have been, you know, they're all about the same. Yeah. I mean, it's very, very, very close. You have financing available as well. We do. Because I, I guess Medicare, Medicaid, whatever, insurance doesn't really cover dentures. It Is doesn't. that right? People assume that dentures are expensive, and they're not. Uh, we have multiple finance options in our office. Do most people finance? I think things? a lot of people finance, yeah. And it's, you know, they're affordable payments for them. Once they realize that they can get these kind of results and they can afford it, 
uh, that puts another smile on their face. I like what you said. I, I want to back up for a moment. Okay. Like this picture of this guy, that you say that the dentists that don't like doing dentures, mm -hmm. they're missing out on this kind yeah. of transformation. Yeah. You feel that way? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think the dentists that don't want to see these type of patients are missing out on such a tremendous opportunity to uh, be rewarded. Again, these are, in my 30 years experience, these are the most rewarding cases I've Is seen. Is that right? Absolutely, absolutely, because they've gone from totally believing there's no options to not just having an option, but having a beautiful option and they can smile. And okay. uh, for example, this, this lady, this is a great, All great right. case. This is a lady that we talked to for about five minutes to try to get to smile. And that was the result that we So could that's get her smiling. After five minutes of coaxing beforehand. And then the same lady when we're finished and uh, had her daughter with her. And at the time I was watching her daughter when we delivered these and uh, the daughter got very emotional, uh, shed some tears. And by the, t I was drawn into that and I became almost emotional. Everybody gets choked up yeah, in the office. It's, it's just, you don't realize the life changing event that's it, this is for people that uh, thought that their whole life they're never gonna have a smile like this again. And by the time I looked at her, she was just shaking her head and said, I never thought they could look this good. And uh, that's very rewarding. Uh, Randy, I want you to take a look at these pictures because there's a lot that goes into these that uh, I think a lot of people take for granted. But this is a part I love, the, uh, the passion on developing a beautiful smile for these people. If you look as they smile and that smile blends into the corners of the mouth, that's not by accident. In fact, a lot of people that have dentures don't realize that they don't have to have the flat denture line. That's straight across. Yeah, and people can see that a mile away. And so this is a beautiful smile that we engineer to look that way. You can see with females, it's very important that we have nice feminine rounded teeth. And there is a difference between the teeth that these women have and the one that men have. Men flat and square and make them look masculine. You can see that her canine teeth are rounded and blend in with a smile. What, what, I like, interesting. what I like the most about this too is uh, once you get that fit and once it looks beautiful and fits the mouth, you see this smile that they never thought they could have and it's natural. <laughs> And uh, where this one was forced, we couldn't even get her to smile. This one, once she put it in and forced the smile to look, it just melted and it went away and it was a beautiful smile. It's very nice. Yeah. They change lives. Those, uh, those smiles, you never forget, but they change lives. People are happier. So, so when you make these, you decide, I guess, you know, an 80 year old is going to have a different shade of white than a, than a 50 year old. Yes. So the, the color, all mm -hmm. of that, is it done on the computer these days? Actually, I mean, how is it done? The shading we do, we work closely with the patient and uh, based on their wants and needs and our recommendations, uh, we don't want to make them white, white so they look fake. Our goal is to make people look at that smile and, and have it look so natural they think that there's something else that maybe that's going on. But there are so many ways to do that. We work with them, we make recommendations. Uh, the technology comes in how they fit. And, okay, uh, okay. That's a difference. Uh, the, the aesthetics, we help engineer the fit. That's the boring stuff behind the scenes that make them fit well. The exciting parts are the ones when we work with their smile, take their facial shape into, into uh, context and to work with them on the color they're gonna use and all of those things that uh, make for a beautiful smile like that. I'd like to tell you about this one patient that uh, really changed my thought on this and really helped me develop a passion to make people's smiles beautiful. It's a lady that came into my office that was uh, about 40 years old, had had dentures for about 10 years. We, we hadn't done her original denture. And she came in literally in tears, complaining that uh, she looked like she was 60. She had wrinkles in her mouth. Uh, her denture slipped around. She smiled and covered her mouth. She was afraid they were gonna fall out. Uh, she complained that they didn't smell good and she had had bad breath. She was feared being intimate with her husband. Uh, just, uh, it just, I could see the wear on her. Her eyes were heavy with uh, emotion. As she uh, started explaining to me, I'm sure you can't help me with this, but I just wanted to see if there's anything we could do. Uh, I got a little smile and I said, we can help you. We can make this beautiful because I knew what the end result was gonna be. And so, so you see it in your mind? I do, I see it and I have seen it hundreds of times. And so that's what I love about this is to be able to help these people and to know I can help them. And so as I explained to her, uh, she got a little teary and she said, you can really help me? And I said, absolutely, we can help you. And she literally started sobbing. And uh, wow. it made me feel good because we hadn't done anything yet. 
Right. And so I thought, now the pressure's on, now we've got to do it. And so we made her a cosmetic denture. We spent some time looking at exactly what it was that would highlight her face and her smile uh, after talking with her. And uh, as we made her this beautiful cosmetic denture and delivered it to her, uh, I, her husband was with her and I watched him and uh, I just saw his eyes light up like this. <laughs> this was the gal that I'd married. And this, I, I just know that it meant a lot to him that she was happy. And uh, so as I glanced at her, um, she was tears streaming down her face. She was sobbing uncontrollably to the point where we couldn't see it. And I said, we, we need to see a smile. I want to see how they look. And uh, she was very emotional, but she said, I, I haven't looked this good since my wedding day. That's nice. And, uh, it, it just, those are moments you just can't uh, put a price on. It's, it, it. Is the challenge that people that are watching, there's people wearing dentures, they don't go to the dentist anymore. Is that the challenge? Is getting them in? I think absolutely. even look at the newer technology they, for these they don't, custom cosmetic dentures? As you said, they're not in the office. They think now that I have a denture, I don't need to go in. And some of them haven't been in forever. And so they don't understand what's available for them. Uh, we love getting them in because we can explain to them what their options are. And I think a lot of other people assume that they're expensive, as we've talked about, and they're not. They also have a fear uh, and think that there's going to be a lot of maybe some time I don't have my teeth. Or yeah, maybe, are they left without teeth? Never. They never, never leave our office without teeth. Uh, another big one, too, I think, Randy, that's important is the life these people had before dentures were, a lot of them have had multiple root canals that didn't, didn't work and maybe failed. A lot of them have had teeth pulled. A lot of them have had infection in their teeth and gum around. Some of those teeth were loose. They've been to the dentist multiple times, coming in and out, spending a lot of money getting nickel and dime. Uh, bad breath, all of these things that go with them. So believe it or not, there's actually some people that are excited and happy when the teeth come out. It's, it's almost a relief to them. And uh, then to be able, at that point, to give them a cosmetic denture is a, is a wonderful thing. Uh, I think another important part on this is uh, the one drawback with dentures, we make them look beautiful, but you know, heaven forbid if they drop them or they break, people are without. Does that happen? It happens a lot. Okay. I've got a great story. I had a, got a call one day from a patient. I could tell he was outside and I could hear water whistling and the wind and he said, I need to come see you. And I said, what happened? He said, I'm fly fishing on a river and he stumbled and fell and spit out his dentures. This was a long time ago. And uh, so we were able to get him back, but he was without teeth for a couple of weeks. That doesn't happen now because of technology. These people that we make these beautiful cosmetic dentures for were able through technology to keep a record of that denture on file, and then within 24 hours, we can have the, the same denture duplicated for them. So the computer just spits out a new denture uh, one day later? Yeah. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's it's, good. That's it's, a... And fortunately, we don't have to use that a lot, but in the times that we've had, it's made a big difference. One that I remember specifically was uh, the, bride, the mother of the bride was about three days away from a wedding reception, and this happened, and we were able to make that for them, deliver it a day before she needed that. So uh, let me show you this next patient. This is a, this is a great story. This is a guy that uh, smiles and as you can tell by his pictures, he has no problem smiling even when he doesn't have teeth. What he was worried about was the ability to chew and he wanted to, to function on those things, be able to eat the foods he wants to eat. So he has some teeth poking through on that before. Yeah. And is that a denture? That what is, is that? a denture. And that's a great point. You can't even see those teeth. And that's a very common thing. When people smile, you can see that reverse smile line or the flat denture teeth. That, that never needs to happen. So they have a denture and they don't even show when they smile. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people think that they have to put up with that. And so these are, this guy smiles. Most people don't smile with that. And so this guy, his pet peeve was he wanted to be able to chew peanut brittle. Okay. And so he said, that's all I care about. I don't care what they look like. If you need to make a metal, let's do that. And I said, we don't need to do that. And so we actually made him a cosmetic denture. He wasn't concerned about how they look. He just wanted to be able to eat peanut brittle. And a funny story is after we delivered that to him, wow. and he loved it, uh, we actually sent him a box of peanut brittle. And uh, <laughs> we got a nice note back saying, thank you very much, and I enjoyed it. Let me tell you an interesting story about him. Uh, we saw him about three months later. And so I said, how do you like that? You still eating peanut brittle? He said, I am. But let me tell you something that I wasn't uh, expecting. People say I'm a good looking guy now and they love how it looks. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't know if I'd go that far, but uh, they do, they look great. Well, you, you know, look, there's no doubt, when I look at this, you know, and you taught me this one, you know, scientifically that a smile is more attractive than a pout. Yeah. And he definitely looks better. 
Absolutely. In the, in the after. So that's just an upgraded uh, denture, just a cosmetic denture. Yeah, that's, it, it is an upgraded cosmetic denture. It's actually more functional. He can chew anything he wants, specifically the peanut So they brutal. fit that well, they do these new them. computerized technology that yeah. makes these. So if you have a five-year-old denture, like somebody watching this, yeah. chances are they don't have a, the next level as far as fit. Because it's they fit better, they look better. Is that right? Absolutely. And they, there's no question they'll fit better. That, that, that is a scientific fact. And in the old days, we couldn't say that because it was the ability to fit well was dependent upon the hands of the dentist. Now it's dependent upon the hands of the dentist coupled with the technology that we use. And so, so it's like a it's all computerized. It's all computerized. To fit their yeah. lower gums perfectly. Absolutely. And uh, the, the results we've seen, people can now chew foods they never thought they could chew. People can smile without their teeth moving. They're not worried about them falling out. They can laugh. Because, look, I know you do dental implants, but not yeah. everybody, and we get emails about this, not everybody can afford dental implants. That's true. So this is kind of the next best thing? It is the next best thing. And uh, obviously, dental implants work great, and we do a lot of those, but these cosmetic dentures fit much, much better than the old, old dentures that we've seen. So is it more women or men that come in for this? Typically, we see more women. And uh, more, more women because women are so concerned about how they look and they're afraid to look old. And I just, if nothing else, I want them to know that they don't have to tolerate what they have. There are so many options out there for them. And, and I'm passionate about that because I've seen it change lives. They don't have to have the wrinkles around their face. They don't have to have the flat, fake looking smile. They don't have to have the dark corners in their mouth or the loose fitting dentures. So these are things that we can- So men make. just tend to put things off a little bit more? I would venture to say that uh, the wives drag in half of the husbands. Is that right? say, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Now, but, I'm looking at this next photo, by the way. I mean, this is really a huge transformation. People need to know, I'm not trying to side with you, yeah. but, but this one is a good one. Th but, this is another great, uh, I, I love this guy. He's, uh, he's uh, just an easygoing guy. And if you notice in his smile, you can see, when, that's a big smile for him, and you can't see any of his front so, teeth. So what does he wear? He's wearing a denture? That is a, a denture that he had only had for about five years. Okay. And I asked him, I, and again, it wasn't on the original denture. We, we didn't place it. He was referred to us by someone we had done a cosmetic denture on. And uh, he basically, I asked him, why did you accept that? And uh, he said, I thought that's all he could do. And so I said, no, that's, there's a lot of different things that we can do. And so this, as you can see with that result, oh that is a beautiful smile. Jeez. And, and obviously, as a dentist, I know what a beautiful smile is. But you know, I would ask you, what, what do you notice about that smile that's different than that first well, one? Well, the first one, the top teeth weren't showing. And this one is just like a, yeah. it looks like veneers, yeah. actually, when you ask me what I think it looks like. It looks a little bit like veneer. It looks like cosmetic. Yeah. And does he look older or younger? In that? He looks younger. He looks yeah. clean. He looks sophisticated. Yeah. You know, we talked about this in movies, that if you want to make somebody look older, you gray their teeth. If you Absolutely. want to make somebody look poor, you give them bad, crooked mm -hmm. teeth. Um, and, and, and when you want to make somebody look, you know, well-to-do or sophisticated, you give them nice teeth. And, uh, and this is huge for this guy. So do you remember, like, what he saw for the first time? Because this is like a big deal here. I, I do remember uh, what he did. And uh, I remember he looked and put it down. And he looked again. And he just started <laughs> laughing. And I said, do you like him? He said, I love him. I just, I can't believe that's me. And wow. uh, that, that uh, these are the moments you kind of live for as a dentist. And uh, it, it changed his life. So do I have time to sure, talk sure. about two more? Yeah. Uh, this lady is a very interesting lady. When, when you look at this picture, uh, I, I think she looks fairly old in that picture. And uh, this is one of the more significant ones I've seen, the, the life change. She came into me as, a, as, a, as an old lady and left as a vibrant person now that was proud of their smile. This is a big difference. That, that's a big it difference. It does look like she could be the daughter of the, of the before photo. Exactly. Uh, so that's the, just a cosmetic denture. That's a cosmetic denture. That one particularly, no implants. And this is one that literally people look at. That, of all the photos we have, this is one that they'll look and say, that can't be the same person. And uh, it is. I think it knocks 20 years off of her life. And yeah, she does look like a different person. And I'm noticing, again, not trying to side with you, but 
her teeth are a little shorter than your other dentures, but they fit her, her mouth. That's the key. Like, uh, you can't compare. They've got to fit the mouth. Everybody smiles a little different. Like some of us are tall, short, wide. Uh, face shape is a critical component of a smile. And those are things we go over. But those teeth actually fit her well. And part of that might be the smile in that photo. But I can tell you that when she smiled, it erased 10 years of her not smiling <laughs> uh, all in one moment. And this other one that we have here, all right. to me, illustrates one of the big problems people walking around with dentures have, and that's that reverse smile line you see with dentures. Why is that? So you're saying it, because yeah. I'm noticing that. Yeah, a, a lot of that's from the wear and tear of a denture that does not fit will actually do damage to the bone in your mouth, and then the denture will slowly creep up. And that's something that's critical that we need to fix. Cosmetic dentures will take care of that because they'll fit much better, and more importantly, they'll look natural again. We can actually restore that smile and I mean, you can tell again, I think it takes 10 to 15 years off her life on that. It's totally so. different. It's very nice. Yeah, I, I, I love that smile because as you look at that smile and you compare the first one to the second one, that, that lip line and that smile line follow each other just beautifully. The corner of the mouth, we're looking for teeth to blend up into that and not have the dark angles and shadows there. Uh, and that fits her face perfect. That's a yeah, beautiful smile. Yeah, it has kind smile. of a feminine curve to it. Absolutely. It's a very pretty smile. Yeah. Uh, do, do you think, is your take, do you think people, you may not have proof of this, but do you think they smile more because of this? Absolutely. There's no question. Like they're more approachable because of this? Well, I think so. I think, you know, what you, know, what you do. When I see somebody that's smiling, I feel at ease. I assume that they have a good outlook on life. I assume that they're happy. Uh, and when we see the others, the people that we deal with beforehand, they're not smiling. Uh, a lot of them look mean almost, and they're not, but those are things that it's life changing for them. I, I, I like being around people that smile, that's my business. And, okay, uh, all right. I, I think that uh, some of these lives we've changed uh, have been dramatic. I just wish people could see what I see. So, people watching this, they're wearing a loose fitting denture, mm -hmm. or maybe they are headed to dentures and maybe they don't have the money for dental implants yeah. or whatever, and they want a cosmetic denture. Yeah. Um, what's your advice to them? But they're skeptical. I, I think uh, I understand that they're skeptical. Uh, I think a lot of times what they've heard in the past or maybe from professionals that aren't aware of what's available for them. I think it's important to get to somebody that has got the decades of experience that deals with these, that have done hundreds of cases of these. I think it's important to get in and literally see what can be done. Uh, I know what can be done. We do it every day. And uh, I think the main thing is to really have a hope that you can do something. So about we're it. out of time. But so if somebody sees this free consultation, they come in. How soon before you tell them you can do it? We can actually uh, get them in quick. We will actually talk during that first appointment uh, of what we can expect, and uh, come up with a game plan right then and there. Now, if somebody's watching this, they go to your office tomorrow. If everything works out perfectly, how soon could they get their their new cosmetic teeth? We can get those done in as soon as ten days. Okay. A week, nice. a week to two weeks. So. All right. I want to thank you for coming to the show. That's Good stuff. Been my pleasure. All right. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.